WBHD Boston. Hey, leave him alone. Stop it. <laughs> Miss Lemon, these gentlemen are the writers for Bruins Beat, whose offices we'll be sharing. They are all named Sean, they are mean, and I hate it here. Liz, Mr. Donaghy would like to see you in his office. <laughs> what? What? Oh, boys, come on! You've got to be kidding me. What, are you not using an office replication service while we're here in Boston? Is it identical? Not quite. Seven items are different. See if you can spot which ones. So how's the show looking for Friday? Like it may not happen, actually. Well, that'll really disappoint your key demographic of drunken 11-year-olds. Look, I know for you this is all just a way to meet married ladies, but it is my job. Let me give you some advice on uniting a divided people. Find a common enemy. A common enemy. For example, what keeps people polite on airplanes? A shared hatred of the CBS sitcoms they're forced to watch. No, I understand the concept, because with these dummies, the common enemy is always me. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to be the bad guy this time. Then find someone else. I recommend Lutz. Why do I always want to choke that guy? You just do. But that is not... Am I interrupting? Of course not. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> You're not a part of this, Liz. Why didn't you tell me you were coming up here? I wanted it to be a surprise. I hope that you and, of course, Mark will come to the show on Friday. I can't believe I'm in the same building as Bruins Beat. Come on, give me a tour. Of course. Oh, actually, I'm gonna tag along. I still haven't had a formal tour of the facility. It... So I'm gonna stay here. What a long face. Your boss am making your life miserable? It's complicated, John. Yeah, I know what it's like. I'm the head writer of Bruins Beat. I'm trying to have it all. It's wicked hot. Is this where they do the news? Small, isn't it? I find that news anchors and breasts are always smaller than they look on TV. You can try it. I feel like Chet Curtis and Natalie Jacobson. Tonight's top story. A Worcester man accused of trading his foster son for gasoline. And later in the hour, 10 tips on how to make your cat's birthday go perfectly. Back to you, Nat. <laughs> Nancy, are you OK? Oh, God, I swore I wasn't going to cry in front of you. <sighs> Mark left yesterday. He took a job in New Orleans. What? What about his roofing company? Apparently, Brad Pitt and Sharon Stone did a crap job rebuilding those Katrina homes. And Mark thinks he can make a fortune down there. But I know the real reason he left. He wants to force me to be the one to ask for the divorce. So you guys are having problems? I'm sorry. Oh, Jack, it's a mess. Suddenly, he has his own bank account. We've had a house on the market for a year. And neither one of us know what to do about the dog, because we both hate it. Have you talked openly about divorce? Yeah, we talked to Dr. Phil, and then we made a collage in our dream journals. No, you know how it is up here. People don't talk, they just run off to New Orleans and jump on that BS Saints bandwagon. Go Pats. Oh, Donovan, I hate seeing you like this. Well, I, I gotta get going. I, I got an open house tomorrow, and Mark was supposed to shovel the walk and salt the carport. I can barely understand you, but let me help while I'm here. Do you know how to rewire a doorbell? I do if you can resuscitate an electrocuted person. Give it a try. OK. Ah, I have many other valuable skills. It'll be the new owner's problem, just like the water heater and the ghost. Well, it is a buyer's market right now. I think it'll turn around in the next year or so. Oh, I can't wait that long. I got to sell this place if I want to get divorced. What do you mean? Well, there's no money, Jack. If I can get some cash out of this place, then I can start a new life. Buy a condo in Marina Bay, open a store for redheaded girls to buy cosmetics from someone who understands. So you need to sell this house to get divorced? Basically. You're looking for a country estate in Waltham? There it is. See? Are you here for the open house? Hello. We are here from a different town for the open house because we are interested in purchasing a house in this area. I'm Nancy, the owner. 
I am Silas Marymount Peppercorn, and this is my first wife, Moronica. It's nice to meet you. I'm British. My wife and I have disparate levels of attractiveness because I am a successful inventor. Well, I gotta be honest, I was wondering. Well, all right, it's a, it's a three bedroom and a partially finished basement. Partially finished? I'll take it. 